This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here in London. Uh, the press conference, the day is finally here, February 17, the date is set, Riyadh season. Uh, Igis Kilmas, firstly, how are you, sir? I'm very good, very good, thank you. Um, let's talk a little bit about it. Just firstly, I caught up with Alex Grasiuk out in Monaco a couple of weeks ago. I said, what's the situation? So we know in the build-up to the Nganu fight, Tyson Fury said December 23rd is the date. Uh, then obviously post-fight, he said, look, he was happy to fight, but the team, Frank Warren, said, no, it has to be later. On your side, did you ever push for the 23rd? How did you guys want to go about this? No, we just went with a flu. As you know, uh, Team Music is always humble and uh, we didn't have, we didn't make any big uh, uh, would you say noise about it and if they say we're gonna move in uh, like uh, six more weeks we had, we had no problem and uh, we just uh, let it go in the build-up there was a little bit of talk and it may have been mistranslated from Ukrainian to English but there was talk maybe that Usyk would never be, have been ready in the first place for the December 23rd date does 17th give him more time or would he have been easy to fight either date uh, Usyk was ready for the December 23rd, and he's going to be ready for uh, February. Let's talk a little bit about the build-up. We've certainly seen Alexander come up and, and say to Tyson, I'm ready. He will joke, and I think at the WBC convention we saw the video that Tyson sent, and Usyk just responds saying, I love you, Tyson. Does that sort of describe the sort of man that Alexander is? Well, you know, the fighters, the fight needs to be built up. I don't think this fight needs to be built up. I think it's already... Uh, in the nature of, of what it is. The heavyweights unification hasn't been for a long, long time. So I think, I think that fight, you don't have to build up this fight. It's, it's already there. Um, let's talk a little bit about dealing with His Excell Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh. We saw yesterday the press conference was announced for December the 23rd. Uh, absolutely crazy scenes. Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren on the same table, Deontay Wilder, Jarrell Miller, the names just go on. Uh, and then obviously this date, we're expecting more dates to be added to the Riyadh season calendar, boxing orientated. Uh, how easy has it been to work with them and, and a pleasure to get a deal done with them? That's probably the biggest pleasure in the whole of my career, working with people like His Excellency. And uh, uh, Dr. Rakan, I mean, it's very, very easy going and, you know, you don't have to struggle to, to, to make it things, to make it deals. It's, everything is there. How refreshing is that? Obviously, you're a man who's been in the sport for years to finally have someone like Turkey come in and uh, change the game how he is. You know, when you look at all your negotiations that you've dealt over the years, you can see a real difference, you can feel a real difference. I mean, yesterday, no one thought we would ever see anything like it. The next day, we see an undisputed heavyweight fight, and that, that says it all, right? Uh, only one problem could be here. We can do in a, in a one month, we will do all the fights that people want to see, and then <laughs> it's going to be gone. There's going to be nothing to see. So uh, we should, uh, we should, we should uh, ask his Excellency to slow down a little bit. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the fight itself. You believe your man uh, is it will be the victor. Uh, how do, does it change, do you think, in fans' perspective off the back of Tyson Fury's fight with, with Nganu? Obviously, you've always backed your man, Alexander, but do you give him even more of an edge after Tyson's last showing, or can you not take too much of that in consideration? Look, you know, uh, the, the boxing is boxing, you know, and uh, you can't judge for uh, for one fight it needs to be go in a much um, bigger so right now this fight whatever was Tyson's last fight yeah he didn't look good he got dropped but it doesn't doesn't mean he's gonna become be a same with a, with a fight of Usyk so you know we can't we can't get a full of it were you surprised by what you saw unfold that night in October I wasn't surprised on Fury, but I was surprised on Gano. Okay. He came up, uh, he didn't fought like a, the, the, the MMA guy or UFC guy, he fought like a real boxer. Francis Ngannou has now been ranked number 10 in the WBC rankings. Do you think that's justified? What's your thoughts on that? Hey, look, look what he did. You know, he fought one of the best heavyweight guys with his pro debut, show me another one. He should be not number 10, he should be number 3. Igis, just uh, a few more from me. February, when we see this fight, Ring of Fire, Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. It's the first time we've seen 
the undisputed fight in the heavyweight division for a long, long time. What happens in February? It's hard to predict because we're going to have a two best guys in the heavyweight division. I believe a stronger man will win. Not giving too much away. Just finally from me, we believe there is a two-way rematch clause. Are you able to sort of expand a little bit on that? Do you have a provisional date as to, as to when the rematch will happen? And, and is, it, is there any conditions on it? I mean, what, what's the situation with that? Let's do one by one. That would be better. It's a good answer. Thank you for speaking to no us problem. at Boxing Social. Thank you very much.